All right, Hickok 45. <laughs> Fire M9. <laughs> yes, Hickok 45 with a Star M9 A1. Yes, you have requested it several times. Several of you got my hands on one. Thought we'd take a few shots with one. This is uh, Polymer Wonder, 9mm, and take a look at it. It's a very uh, space-age looking firearm, isn't it? It looks a little bit like, uh, John, I think it looks like a taser gun with a big thick front, or high front, we want to say it. Uh, but it's kind of interesting looking. It's, uh, it kind of grows on you, I have to say. When I first saw one, you see one in a uh, picture online, it looked, wow, pretty strange. But... Uh, yeah, seems to work. Yeah. Oh, it's got the same profile on the other side. Amazing, huh? This one was made in May of 2004. There's a little code inside the frame I looked up and uh, it indicates when it was actually made. It's a Generation 2 based on my research. And you can tell that by several ways, whether there's a roll pin under the rear sight and uh, the Picatinny rail, the type of rail it has on it. It's a, it's a newer frame or second you know, model, second generation. And, uh, you know, just a couple of things that, that tell you that, all right? So, and as the newer extractor, and let's just go ahead while we we're talking about it and take it down. It is clear, of course, we just emptied it. You push this little button, which also is a safety uh, locking mechanism. I don't have the uh, locking key for it or anything, but you push that and it goes down. And uh, you know why I didn't do that? Let me pull it back. Pull the trigger first, just like a, a Glock, you have to... Yeah, okay, and it looks very much like that. It even has a firing pin block and stuff. It's different from a Glock. It's not as visible, but supposedly the firing pin uh, is protected from you know firing when you drop it and that kind of thing. A trigger has to be pulled for it to uh, release the firing pin. So you have that uh, you know similar design, and uh, you know striker fired has uh, I think they call it double action only. But it's really it's just you know the same kind of operation and triggers a, as a Glock in a lot of ways, except it's a nice trigger. We'll talk about that. Got some negatives and positives with this thing. Uh, borrowed it from uh, a viewer. I, I, I periodically will get a uh, comment or a request. Someone will write me, you know, and I'll just okay, star, okay, it's on my radar. I, I don't know anybody that has one. I don't have one. And uh, I got one the other morning. It wasn't, but two or three days ago. Uh, another notice someone had written a message asked me uh, when are you going to do a star m9 said, you know what let me go to my files because i had a couple of people had offered to, to lend me uh, stars and and one of them was for this one the m9 and so i dug it out and let me load these mags while i'm gabbing at you uh and i i contacted the person it had been i think months since i had uh you know been in contact with them and uh I wrote to him and hey, you said willing to lend us that Star M9? He said sure. Got back with me and uh, we met like the next day and uh, picked it up and here we are with it. You know, I've shot uh, three magazines through it. Well, now five. And uh, of those five magazines, 15 rounds each. I'll let you do the math on that. Uh, just don't go too far beyond 75, and I think you'll be correct. It is. Uh, it's functioned flawlessly. Okay. Now there is a little history with this gun, as I know, and I'm not selling styres and I'm not bashing styres. I guess I'll shoot these two mags. I'll stick with the Magtech, uh, just and then we'll switch over to something else. This is just plain old Magtech, 115 grain ammo, something I could find uh, and purchase. But if you study the styre pistols, oh, the last whatever 20 years, you see a. Uh, kind of a mixed history, a storied history, and I don't know everything about it. I mainly just want to give you my impressions of this gun, point out the obvious differences and things I like, don't like, see how it shoots, if it functions, and that kind of thing. But uh, they apparently had import problems, uh, you know, back, what, eight, ten years ago, and they were not being imported to the country. 
And they also had some uh, problems with the extractors, the early extractors, some people were. And I think they uh, offered a, a free upgrade on those, of course. And this one, I think, the second generation firearm came with the older extractor. The owner said, uh, I think they sent him the newer extractor and he put it in. Although he said he didn't have malfunctions with the, the earlier one, the old one. So uh, your experience on that might be, uh, you know, different. So y'all chime in. I know there will be some Steyr experts uh, probably coming to, to see this crazy video so uh, you know chime in with your uh, expertise because I'm not a style expert at all and just kind of uh, studied a little bit looked on some forums and, and I by the way I use forums to get information about a firearm that I don't know much about and you can I've talked about that before maybe in the radio show but you can really get some uh, impressions and information good information usually from some of the forums. Now I know that sounds like a joke, right? Because you know people bash the internet and all the stupid things people claim and on the internet in forums. But still, the people who go to a, a Steyr forum, for example, or a Glock forum, they're people who have these firearms. Many of them who have fired them for years. And so you 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 start seeing trends in what people are saying. Yeah, you're going to have the outliers. You're going to have some idiot that you know nothing works for him, you know her. Uh, but but by and large, you start to see the, you know trends in what people say. And these are people who have experience with these firearms. They're again, they're not just one goofball on YouTube like me. You know, so I I really uh, I find out a lot of information back before YouTube. I used to find out a lot about Glocks, and I hopefully help some people on Glock Talk in that regard. Because you got people like you or me who, if there is anybody like me, people who are experienced, you know, and they're just out buying these guns and shooting them and then kind of reporting. So you do get some truth there, believe it or not. It's not all a joke. But anyway, what I, what I came away with was the people who like these firearms really like them. I mean, there's a seriously loyal following of these firearms, these tires. And I've been hearing from some of them, I think, that, <laughs> that wanted me to try one even though they have kind of a mixed history. Now, I, one of the negatives of the firearm is there's not many holsters available. If you notice that front end, uh, it makes a, uh, an XDM even look uh, small, doesn't it? Because it's, it's really thick and it's loaded, but you know, from there to there. And so it won't fit in almost any holster. You know, my old standby Glock 30 holster I use, and this is a Glock 21 holster that somebody sent me that I really haven't used much, but it won't fit in it either. But it's the only one that would even come close so it goes in to that point, and uh, in the interest of safety here now, I would not use this holster for this firearm except right now on the range shooting the firearm because it does not cover the trigger guard, okay? So although it feels like it's coming close there, <laughs> maybe it's going down in a little further now. <laughs> huh, it's almost does, doesn't it? Okay, maybe it's fitting a little bit better. But you always want a holster that covers the trigger guard. So I was really just kind of compromising because it would at least hold it but if I put a little force on it, I'll be darned. That one actually works. The other Glock 21 holsters were not working. Okay, maybe I've stretched it out a little bit. Oh, well, either way, I lied. It, it actually does kind of work. But boy, good luck finding a holster. Good luck. All right, I've got two loaded magazines. Uh, take a couple of shots. Now, a couple of things about this firearm is it has a great trigger, a uh, really nice trigger, and the ergonomics of it, it just, feels great in the hand i mean it fits your hand like a glove all right <laughs> i mean of the on the positive side that is definitely a positive it really feels good i mean it balanced it's amazing and you saw the sight it's got the trapezoidal sight as they call it that's kind of different uh that's another thing people either love it or they hate it uh, i haven't fully decided yet uh i, I could live with it but it's, it's really different. It's like having like the big dot on the front in a way, isn't it? So once you get it lined up, it seems to be on uh, pretty much. I notice I can't do a six o'clock hold. I've got to kind of hold up on the target a little bit just in my limited shooting. But uh, I don't know. I'm not sure whether I could get used to it or not. Let's take a couple of shots here. And like, uh, did I put one in a Yeah, oh, by the way, it does have a loaded uh, chamber indicator, so I didn't have to guess. It's a little button there protrudes a little bit. Let's see if I can pick off that 12 ounce without hitting the pot or the plate. Okay. I'm going to try for right in the center of that. I think I know. Okay. Try that again. 
Okay, see so if we can put another one in that gray spot. Okay, sights are seem right on. Just right on. Let's go on over to Mr. Gong while we're uh, taking sight pictures, trying to get a good trigger break. Wow, got there fast. Huh, interesting. We'll try one on the red plate. I think I have to hold up on it a little bit, and then I'll probably still miss. There we go. Nice, let's move back here. Pick on this pot down here. Oh, disappeared. Huh. Nice. I tell you, things that shoot pretty well for me. I, I try the plates. Okay. They have such power at knocking one of those plates down. That's amazing. Uh, trigger is nice. Notice this trigger reset or the brake. It's, it's a nice trigger and then resets right there. So it's got a short reset and it, uh, it, I like the trigger. Now I read that the ones that have the pin, the roll pin underneath the uh, sight, a little bit newer slide, that somehow enhances the trigger, makes it better. That's hard to imagine because this has one of the best triggers. Let's go to the white box here, see if it'll do okay on that. Uh, you know, it, I, I couldn't ask for a much better trigger than this particular gun has. Okay, the owner has fired it about 500 times, he says, and uh, he had a couple of hang-ups early on. I believe he said he attributed that to limp wristing. Uh, so, oh no. Uh, yeah, sometimes we don't know. I don't, not <laughs> questioning him. He knows what's going on. But we sometimes if a gun malfunctions, you know, we, we don't know. Did we limp wrist it? What was it? Bad ammo? You know, a dirty gun, not lube proper. I don't know. It could be a number of things, couldn't it? And uh, that's the, the deal. There are people who have a serious limp wristing problem, I think, and don't even know it. And so, consequently, speaking of the gun forums, they end up uh, posting all over the internet about what a crappy gun the SIG is, or the Glock, or the XDM, or whatever it might be. And it's really what a weak wrist they have, or just inexperienced. So, so sometimes it's hard to, to know and jump, you know, and jump to conclusions. But again, the history of the gun. Uh, you'll see some negative stuff about, about the reliability of it, uh, particularly the earlier models. And, you know, again, I'm not sure what to think about that. I put a couple. These are some pieces of uh, talon grips I just stuck on there. The grip's a little smooth for me. It feels great, but it's, it's awfully smooth, you know, really is. Uh, but like I say, you, before I was rudely interrupted by uh, Hickok, it, you will see some mixed reviews on the reliability of them. And, uh, again, people either love them or hate them, hate them it seems. Uh, this is, by the way, this is the M9A1, and it is kind of in the category of the Glock 17. Uh, not to, you know, again, obsessed with Glocks on that, but it's more that size gun. They have one, it's the C model that's compact. That's kind of in the Glock 19 model or range, the Glock 23. Then they have the S series that are more like the baby Glocks, as I understand. I've not even held either one of them, okay? So I'm not vastly experienced with these. Now this one, the reason I brought the Glock, big old, Glock 21 out was I just wanted to show you uh, one reason this thing shoots so smoothly and I hadn't talked about that but it's really a sweet shooter it doesn't uh, recoil much at all you would love to shoot this gun is uh, it is fairly fairly large let's let's take the whole thing the slide in the frame there okay and if we put that on the Glock the thickest points there we have about the same thing see so the slide is just in fact let's see now the actual slide on the Glock, I think, what did I determine? It's actually a little bit thicker, but not much difference. So, so the slide on this firearm is, uh, it's almost the same thickness as the big Glocks, okay? So it's a little heavier, it's 26 ounces. So that, and again, if you're not gonna conceal it inside the waistband, that's irrelevant. And it may be anyway, the good holster, but it's a, it's a little bigger. And that's one reason with that good trigger, 
and that little bit of extra weight and that slide weight, it's a sweet shooter. I guess I haven't tried to shoot the thing fast, really. Uh, maybe I'll do that. Let me take a couple shots fast here with it. I've not tried that yet. Just to, oh, it's just something I can hit. Uh, Yeah, it, it's a yeah, it's sweet. You can really pump them out. Yeah, yeah that that slide weight and that trigger mm, makes it a fun gun. We'll shoot a little bit more. We won't uh, belabor you with a 40 minutes worth of it, but uh, we'll take a couple more shots. I'll put some hollow points through it while it's dirty. Uh, okay, on the gun, so I don't forget anything that I know of. Uh, magazine holds 15. It will take the the magazines. There's some magazines available to hold 17. I understand. I haven't seen them, of course. I, again, I'm 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 not a uh, I'm far from an expert on these. You can drift your sights, your front or your rear sight, on this model, the second generation. I don't know if maybe some of the newer generations have a, a screw in them or anything like that or not. Uh, you got that different sight. You've got a good. John's giving you a good look at that. And this one all matches. I understand there were some of these that brought into the country that were just kind of a mix of parts and that kind of thing. This one, all the serial numbers match. And again, it's a generation two. You got the, the newer rail. Uh, that's about it. You've got, uh, let's see, I showed you the breakdown. One thing I don't like, uh, the, uh, the serrations in the slide, there's not a lot to get a hold of there. Uh, I mean, it's okay. But there's not a lot, uh, as you see there, of width. But that's partly because of the contour of the slide and everything. It, nothing you can't live with. Got your loaded chamber indicator. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of a simple polymer, you know, wonder. 9 millimeter. Now, we've not had any problems so far. We might, before it's over, let's try some hollow points. And see if uh, they work okay. It's... Uh, I say it kind of grows on you. I'll have to say it because it feels so good it's in the hand and the way the weight's distributed and then with the good trigger and then the slide that's a little heavier than say a Glock 19, you know, uh, it's it's just a very sweet shooting pistol. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, again, the, the mixed reviews on it would worry me. I would need to do a lot of research and shoot one a lot before I'd be convinced, of course, uh, that it's something I wanted to carry. But, uh, yeah, again, you just, you just don't know. Uh, some of you out there probably uh, have stories to tell about, about these things. But uh, they're in, and they, they are being imported. And uh, as I understand, they, they are, you know, the Steyr is giving more support. There's a Steyr USA, and, and you can get support for the guns better than in the past. And uh, a couple of the negatives are, of course, the holsters and finding accessories for them. Uh, finding holsters you want although there's there's two or three I think that make them you could have some made of course if you wanted a custom holster and if you really like the pistol you'll find a holster right and then just parts availability uh, it's hard to compete with Glock and some of the other uh, companies where any part you absolutely want you know I could have an extractor for any Glock any part for that Glock line there I could go to Lone Wolf or Top Glock or some of these these uh, Glockmeister and or others and I could have those parts uh, on the way tomorrow and they'd be here by the end of the week. Any part for that gun, right? I mean, if, if it's an FFL part like the frame, I'd have to send, have it sent to a, an FFL dealer. But anything else, barrel, you name it, uh, ejectors, uh, it could be here. And I don't think you have that situation with these firearms. But uh, I don't know. I, I can see why people kind of like it. Where's my other magazine? There it is. Okay, load this real quick. Okay, well, we've got hollow points. Uh, let's try, you know what, what thing we discovered with uh, the arms core, and we've not had really trouble with arms core ammo, we've shot a lot of this stuff. We have another firearm we've, we've not posted as I'm speaking, and uh, it seemed to have hard primers for that for that particular firearm, and uh, we'll, we'll see how it works in here, because uh, we've not had any issues with them until, until then. So, let's just try some arms core 124 grain ammo in this baby this is a fun little gun to shoot i wish you were here no i don't okay so let's try the hollow points 
And these are, again, these are some old Georgia arms. Uh, these are gold dot, I think, actual bullets in there. Just some uh, hollow points I have. Mainly just trying for the uh, contour of the bullet. Make sure it'll feed up the ramp. All right. Well, let's just take them over there. <laughs> well, I'm probably about empty. Let's try the chicken. <laughs> yes, I'm about empty. Oh, we got another magazine. Oh, those sights grow on you. I'm just messing around shooting too fast, but you know, that big old uh, trapezoid there, I mean, it really, uh, the triangle, it, it pops up pretty quickly on you. It really does. I'll have to say, it's not bad. Not bad. So, uh, while there is history out there uh, that indicates there's an there's a unreliability factor, we've not seen it, and uh, we fired, let's see, three magazines yes before the video or you know period in my life you know through <laughs> through a a star this this gun and then whatever we fired here um so i don't know it, it's a really smooth shooter and uh you know you you may know will many of you will know more about them than, than i do in the history and apparently a lot of people are uh are uh, giving them a chance and uh you know letting them prove themselves one way or the other so i I, you know, right now, I have to say, I kind of like it. I was surprised John kind of liked it. He even liked the looks of it. Sort of. <laughs> so I guess we're kind of weird. It is growing on me a little bit. But it feels so good. And it's such a smooth shooter. You can't help but like it. You know. Now, if a gun starts malfunctioning, I don't care what it looks like or feels like. I don't have any use for it. But she seems to be working. And uh, it's a pretty nice little, little pistol. Uh, the Steyr uh, M9A1. And this, again, is a Generation 2, so there's a couple of generations of them out there. And there's other models, many models. So, well, hopefully, uh, you know, if they're making good pistols, Steyr will, you know, uh, support them adequately, and they'll continue making them, and uh, we'll have some, some other competition out there. I don't see them in gun shops a lot. I guess they're out there. I just really haven't looked a lot. But in some smaller shops, I notice they don't have them. But uh, maybe they'll make some inroads. So, anyway, uh, pretty nice little pistol. I not a lot to uh, complain about it works and uh you know good little shooter life is good <laughs>